In this exercise, we're going to address one of the things that's real common in industrial design space, and that happens to be changes. Uh, in industrial design, we're always changing things, whether reshaping or whatever. And, uh, and one of the great advantages of Alias Studio is its ability to not only allow you to do the changes just the way you want to, but still maintain the integrity of the data. And we'll see that in just a moment. So in this case here, I'm working on a bolt hull. It's a just a, a simple hull, nothing uh, very complex. And this happens to be what's called the shear line or the cutting line of the hull itself. And so in this case here, what we're gonna do is uh, we wanna change the crowning of this particular space. So we're gonna start to imagine that this is a deck uh, starting to pour, pour, pull up uh, from the shape itself. And of course, when we do that, we wanna make sure everything's sticking together properly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and uh, grab this particular surface right here. And I'm gonna turn on my, my control structure for it so that we have access to, uh, to actually change the overall shape of the sky. And uh, then we're gonna grab the center CV structure here. And what we really wanna do is we wanna start moving that upwards. So we'll take, uh, we'll look from the, the back view, the aft view of, of it, and we'll start moving this up. Now, as we're moving it, first of all, you can start to see the surface move up and down. You can see that inside of here. But watch what happens amongst the other things inside of here. After we've done the first one, what happens inside of Alias Studio is it takes a look at what has been done before and talks about or looks at where the changes actually happen to be. So if you notice inside of here, we've got these two, uh, two particular seg segments right here. This happens to be a fillet surface with curvature con con continuity associated with it. Green inside of Alias Studio means good, and the C means that it's maintained curvature continuity. Now watch what happens as we start to move this up. As we move it up, you notice that that, that C changes, it actually changes to a P, and it's saying that we're moving off from con curvature continuity, and we're actually breaking positional continuity. Well, you'd expect that. As we start to move a surface, the the actual surface itself is going to start to stretch and pull uh, from its original shape. And as uh, with curvature continuity, it actually has to go through and maintain that. Now, if you notice up here on the top, we'll just keep on moving it uh, more. Uh, you'll see eventually I'll actually pull it off so that the surface is so high that it's, that it's moving up. But you can see what's happening with this particular surface fillet knows that this is starting to adjust itself to maintain curvature continuity as we're working on it. Now, as we look at the, the back view again, we'll just go into straight back view. You notice that we've really moved this quite high. It used to be almost flat across here, and we've moved it really quite high, yet everything is still maintaining. And that's one of the great powers of Alias Studio, its ability to allow you to do changes to the design still maintaining the integrity of the surface.